Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my 2019 round 21 AFL tips and predictions. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. With the first game, we have GWS versus Hawthorne. And even though Hawthorne, I'd probably say their final chances are pretty much done now. I actually don't know if there's any way they can make the finals. I mean, it's pretty hard for them to do it now. But GWS, they still really want to make that top four spot. And Richmond are definitely stopping them right now. And yeah, I think this is going to be a must win for GWS to obviously get this game. And I mean, Hawthorne, their season is pretty much done now. And I don't really think GWS need to worry about percentage that much. So it's probably not you know, the most important thing they exactly need. But getting the win against Hawthorne is going to be absolutely massive. And this is obviously at their home ground at uh, Sydney. So this is definitely going to be massive. And I mean, if they lose this, possibly top four chances over. And if they win it, they're still in the hunt. So yeah, this is actually at Canberra, by the way. So yeah, I'd still say it is pretty much GWS's home game. But yeah, Hawthorne don't really have much to play for right now, I would say. And yeah, GWS definitely need to win this one. And yeah, that's why I'll be tipping GWS to beat Hawthorne at their, um, at Canberra. Anyway, the next one we have is Melbourne versus Collingwood. And Collingwood, you know, they still got a lot of injuries right now. And there's a couple of their players that are out for certain reasons other than injuries. I'm sure you guys are mostly knowing who I'm talking about right now. And that's been definitely crucial for their season. They currently sit in sixth position right now alongside GWS who are also hopeful of making the top four. And the only team that's really stopping them is obviously Richmond. And this is another must win. And Melbourne obviously have not been in form recently. And I talked about it a couple times now, but I actually went to the St. Kilda versus Melbourne game at least a week or two ago. And straight away, just as watching it, you know, from a commentator, there, or, a, you know, a spectator, rather, there are so many things that Melbourne need to improve on their game, and this is at the MCG against Collingwood, who are our top eight team, so this is a perfect team to do it against, um, you know, this is a perfect team to try and show everyone that you're learning from your mistakes, and I think a lot of people are definitely giving their coach way too much slack, I mean, they, they've won five games this year, they come from, you know, pretty much four, uh, fourth or fifth last year, wherever it was, to literally second loss on five wins. That is absolutely disgraceful and something they really need to try and redeem themselves for. But I will be tipping Collingwood to beat Melbourne. But yeah, I definitely think that Melbourne still got a lot of play for, even though they obviously cannot make finals. Anyway, the next one we have is a Sydney versus... Oh no, Port Adelaide versus Sydney, sorry. And um, this is at Adelaide Oval. And oh, I don't know, like I wouldn't, you know, have said this probably like a week ago or, or whatever, but Port Adelaide are in the hunt to make the eight. Yeah, I know it's pretty crazy to think about, but there is still a chance that they could potentially make the A, even though they're two wins behind Essendon, who are sitting seventh, and obviously one win behind Adelaide, who finishes eighth. Do I think that they will make the A? I, probably most likely not. I think the top eight right now is possibly set, and I don't think they're going to be too many changes at all. And yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting to see what poor Adelaide can do. And this is obviously against Sydney, who... Sydney have, you know, they've had a lot of rough spots this year, but I actually don't mind what they've been able to do in recent times, and they've got a couple of good wins here and there in the last couple of weeks or so, so yeah, they're back on track, and I think if they can get Joe Danaher, which I probably will be making a video on soon as well, getting Joe Danaher would be an absolutely big play for them to do, but right now, obviously, let's, rather than looking at the off-season Port Adelaide versus Sydney. I think Port Adelaide this is a must win for them, even though they've been super hard to tip and have been very inconsistent. And it pretty much been stuffing up everyone's tips. I think that, yeah, this is definitely a game that they really need to win if they want to keep their top eight chances alive. And that's why I'll be tipping Port Adelaide to beat Sydney at Adelaide Oval. And now the next one we have is Brisbane versus Gold Coast at Gabba. Not much to talk about here. I mean, the last four weeks... The Gold Coast have played. I think they're averaging losing by 60 or 70 points or something. That is absolutely horrendous. Obviously, a lot of things need to change with their team. But they found a couple good players. Lukosius, who's been playing really good as a backman, obviously. And then King. Where? How good is the King brother that they have? I think it's Ben King. I'm hoping I'm right there. I don't really remember. It's one of the King brothers. And he is... Really good, obviously, for Gold Coast. And I think it's actually kicked nine goals or something, or something crazy like that in the last two weeks. He's been very good. And I think that, yeah, very underrated at the moment, although he's not getting that many disposals. I think he has been definitely pretty good as well. But obviously, Brisbane 
are in quite a bit of form and they want to keep their top four chances pretty much locked in there as there is still possibly a chance they can fall out, I'm pretty sure, but obviously it's a very slim chance. But yeah, I can't really see them losing against Gold Coast at the Gabba. Anyway, the next one we have is Essendon versus Bulldogs and another pretty hard game to tip. This one is obviously at Marvel Stadium and I think even though Essendon obviously just came off a really bad loss to Port Adelaide, pretty much letting, you know, keeping Port Adelaide season truly alive, very bad loss for them, and they definitely needed to win that one to cement themselves in the top eight as well, even though I'm pretty sure they've practically already done that as well. But yeah, it's at Marvel Stadium against the Doggies, who I believe could still make the eight. I mean, there's a chance, like Port Adelaide, they could as well, and Doggies will definitely be trying to get this one. And if Doggies can win this one, it would definitely make things a lot more interesting. But right now, I think I'll probably be tipping Essendon, although it could possibly change. I mean... I definitely need to see the best 22 to see what's happening here and there as well. But yeah, Essendon definitely need to redeem themselves after that pretty bad loss. Anyway, the next one we have is Geelong versus North Melbourne at the um, at GMHBA. And usually I'd be saying the both of the Scott brothers would be taking each other on. But obviously, that is not the case anymore as, you know, Ray Shaw is now North Melbourne's new coach. So yeah, it's going to feel a little bit weird not to see the brothers take each other on for like the first year in quite a while, unless they've already played um, previously this year, which I actually don't really know if they have or not. I can't even remember. But, yeah, this is at GMHBA, and I, I know that Geelong haven't been in the greatest form recently. I mean, what are they? They've, I think their, lo their last four losses have been in the last eight weeks or something. So whether you say that's good form or not, it's sort of like, you know, medium form, I'd say. It's good and bad, and they could probably improve on some things. I mean... This is against North Melbourne at the GMHBA, and to keep their number one spot on the leaderboard, you know, pretty much safe for now. They definitely need to win this one, and if they lose it, it's probably not going to be as safe as most people think. But yeah, I will be tipping Geelong to beat North Melbourne at GMHBA. All right, so going on to the Sunday games, we now have St. Kilda versus Fremantle at Marvel Stadium, and Fremantle's top, four, um, top eight chances are... I guess they're still alive. They're in a really similar, you know, situation to Western Bulldogs and Port Adelaide. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they go for the rest of the year. But I don't think they can make the A at all. I mean, their percentage is pretty garbage. And this is at um, versing St. Kilda at Marvel Stadium. And it's going to be definitely a really close one, I do think. But I probably am going to be tipping St. Kilda against Freeman, or I don't know why, but I just have a little hunch that I think that St. Kilda might be able to get over the line here and beat Freeman at Marvel Stadium. Anyway, the next one we have is Richmond versus Carlton at the MCG, and although Carlton have been in some pretty good form lately and have been doing quite well with their new coaches, everyone knows, and there's been a lot of speculation coming out in recent times that they've actually got their eyes on a couple players, which is like, you know, Tipper, um, Canelio, and there's a couple of other players here and there that it looks like they're going to be offering the big bucks to as well. I think they never, they definitely need to get their new coach signed in as I think he's done an amazing effort to restore their 2019 season. And what looked to be a disaster uh, as they, you know, didn't have their pick has actually turned into quite a good thing as they now sit in 16th position and have the opportunity to potentially finish maybe in like 15th or something, which... Yes, they still don't have their top, you know, their first round pick. It goes to Adelaide and it'll probably be either pick three or four. But I still think it's been quite a successful season for Colton at the moment. If they can get Canelio and a couple other players in the offseason as well, maybe like Tipper, then the offseason, you know, then losing that pick really hasn't been as bad as it could have. But yeah, going on to Richmond now, who are in a lot of form, as everyone knows. And there's a lot of rumors and speculation about Alex Rance as well. I thought Alex Rance was done for the season, and then it, I thought Neil Baum said that he wasn't going to be playing, but there was a lot of rumors going around that he actually might play VFL or something on the last round of the year and could potentially make a comeback in their first game in the final. So that is absolutely crazy to think about, and I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't. I'd probably rest him for the year now. I think it's, yeah, there's too late. Pretty much to play him, and I don't. I think that Richmond's backline is doing, I guess, okay right now. So I wouldn't really change much if I was Richmond with Alex Rance, but who knows? They could potentially look at trying to bring him back, which could be a really possible option. And yeah, something that could definitely happen. But right now, Richmond are in a load of form, and yeah, I will be tipping Richmond to beat Carlton at the MCG. Anyway, the next one we have is West Coast versus Adelaide, and you know, similar situation to Port Adelaide, Western Bulldogs, and Fremantle. 
they are not locked in the eight. They could fall out and, you know, they're still contending to get on the eight, really, even though they're in eighth position at the moment. And this week does not help them at all, where they'll be taking on West Coast, who are trying to lock in number one spot and hope that Geelong fall down. Trying to lock in that number one spot, obviously. And, yeah, they're going to really try and beat Adelaide at Optus Stadium. And I think Adelaide really need to try and push and put their best foot forward or their, their season could potentially be over if they lose this game as Port Adelaide are pressing. I mean, that win against Essendon was pretty impressive, but even though they're pretty inconsistent, I do think that the top eight is pretty much set as it is at the moment. But as I said, yeah, West Coast will be taking on Adelaide at Optus and I will be tipping West Coast to be Adelaide, and I think they should get the job done quite comfortably. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and subscribe to my other channels. Link in the description down below. I've got a gaming channel and an IRL slash vlog channel where I actually released an AFL vlog recently on there. Also, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about my tips and predictions? Do you guys agree with them? And definitely comment what your tips and predictions are down below. I definitely would really like to hear your thoughts and opinions. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.